Beautiful day for it guys, Dina's got the bash going in. Decided we're just gonna start off with these two random piers here. We've got a 350 by 350, it's a four brick pier here. Same with the other one over there. So I'm just started by putting my base down, <coughs> lining it up with the existing brickwork. Over there, making sure that's running in line. That's one of the key things we're gonna have to do with this this rendered section here. Make sure that it's all running in line with the existing face uh, facade there. So I like to just measure it out, make sure we're square. Okay, I like having a fifth, I'll put a, I'll make the pier five mil bigger. So I make it actually 355. So I like checking that all the sides are 355 by 355. First off. Just something I like to do. So 355. This edge here, 355. So we've got this one up to as high as we can do from the ground. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our, our uh, twin pier over here. And the way we do that is we've got to measure the distance of our existing brickwork to make sure that we have a square pier to this one. So what I do is I, I like to run it straight uh, two meter level off the existing brickwork. I already know that from the facade to the outside of this, as you can see, it's 800 millimeters right there. So what I gotta do to this pier is make sure that the front of this is also 800 millimeters to make sure it's square off the house. So I have this already, already on the back here. And now I get my trowel, get a bit of mud. measure from the outside of that where the house will be and as you see 800 virtually is right at the end of this slab so I know that I can put this down with confidence that my rendered pier goes right to the edge make sure they're nice Bed joint there. A little level. Make sure we'll square off the level. Alright, double check with our level. Outside from the existing wall. And you can see. We're bang on, we're bang on 800 there. So what I like to do is I'll probably lay a couple of courses now. All right, square it all off, double check that it's 350 both ways. And then I'll potentially set up a profile. And just for, for the sake of making sure that the very front of it's um, nice and square, I'll just run a line with a rubber corner block on the end and just one profile up here. And I'll just run it continually, making sure that the bricks are actually level. So by the time we get to the top, they're at the same heights as well.
So just yeah, leveling off the first course. Now, by the time I was born, wrestling changed and wrestling. Uh, and now we're going to do the same uh, process we did on that last pier. So 355, I like making these pairs. Baseball and all kinds of stuff like 355 on this edge. What my dad did on this edge. We get tossed from that. They, uh, you know, some like players on the top. We got like this guy that's. Uh, and this one's at 365. You know, so I know I've got to bring this edge in. I'm going to send them up to the two. Oh, was it just some football like players for 355? Now, now that we know that's the same distance in a square uh, around, you can use a square, obviously, which is easier, probably. I don't have one on me at the moment, so I'm just and, and how much of that measure it with a tape. Gonna actually use and square up to level. Another well, way to do it. Like I said, they, a lot of times they just fold around, you know. Oh. Just got these second pier up. So they're both at the same heights now. Pretty good for level. Both both sides. So now we'll set up the scaffold at the front. They need to go up another about 10 courses each. So Dean's going to put in a batch. I'll set up some trestles and we'll run them up. I think they've got to finish at the same line as this top course of bricks here. Check us out on TikTok. That one goes to the Just jumped on it. We're doing a couple of videos on there. So give us a follow. Lunchtime now. Sitting a couple of these seals over here at the front. And we've got another long one there. Down a couple of splits. As you can see, that's that's it. That's the twin piers. That's setting them out, making sure they're square off the front of the house. How I measured my first couple of courses up, make sure they're all square. And then it's just a matter of putting them up, making sure you're always putting your level on it. Obviously these two are rendered piers, but making sure that you don't have any holes is the key thing. Even with rendered stuff, making sure they're nice full joints and then brush it down neat. Leave it as neat as possible for the renderer. But that's, that's um, the twin piers done. Lunchtime for me and Dino. Starving. <laughs>